Two-term Republican Congressman Lee Zeldin, an attorney, former state senator, and Army paratrooper, touts his homegrown roots. No one's going to just hand you success. You're going to have to go out and work for it. Democratic challenger, first-time candidate Perry Gershon, a successful businessman with a national message. I hope we unite and take control back of the country from Donald Trump. The unnamed contender in the race, the president. I think the president's definitely involved in this election. He's, he's hard to miss. The battle for New York's first congressional district seen as a referendum on Trump, who Zeldin enthusiastically supports but has differed with. He voted to take away health care for people with pre-existing conditions. He's voting with Trump, trying to decimate our environment. Lee Zeldin has embraced Trump. He's held rallies with Steve Bannon. Where I agree with the president, working with him on MS-13, strengthening our military. And where I disagree, I speak up as well. I voted against the tax bill. I oppose offshore drilling off the coast of Long Island. It's an expansive district that runs from the wealthy East End through farmland to middle and working class central Suffolk County. Zeldin portrays Gershon as a carpetbagger raised in Manhattan with a Yale pedigree, only recently making East Hampton his full time home. He's a New York City liberal Democrat who decided to register in our district just to run. I think it's absurd. East Hampton is my home. I paid property taxes there for 20 years. It's a district that's pivoted more than once, voting for Obama, then Trump, pegged by pundits as likely but not solidly Republican. Both candidates are Jewish, but on opposite sides of gun control. Zeldin endorsed by the NRA. Regardless of what tool they have, again, if they have a knife, a firearm, a bomb, uh, we need to get at that hate uh, and combat it successfully. We need to condemn hate early before it takes hold, but then it's also about guns. We can't have AR-15 circulating. We should have a ban on the sale of AR-15. Republicans have the edge over Democrats in this district in terms of voter registration, but nearly a third of the voters are uncommitted. In Riverhead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.